What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka Seven Sovereign, back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I like to talk about this album right here, Guilty Simpsons' long-awaited follow-up to Ode to the Ghetto, called O.J. Simpson. For those who never heard of Guilty Simpson, he's an MC out of Detroit, Michigan. Y'all know Detroit got some stellar MCs out there, some real dope acts out there. Um, Guilty Simpson came up under the late great Jay Dilla. He was basically under Jay Dilla's wing. Um, <clears throat> Jay Dilla died. Guilty Simpson landed a uh, deal with uh, Stone Store Records. Um, he was also wanted by Shady Records, but um, thank God he didn't sign with Shady because I believe that he either wouldn't be used like he should be used, you know, putting out dope material, and um, he wouldn't sound right rapping over some of them mainstream beats. It just wouldn't sound right. So thank God he didn't sign with them. But um, yeah, he signed with Stone's Throw, put out a dope fucking album called Ode to the Ghetto. If y'all don't have that, get on undergroundhiphop.com, order that shit, get on eBay, whichever avenue you gotta use, get on there and get that fucking album. That album is sick. Um, yeah, so we'll move on to this. This album right here is produced by none other than the great Madlib. Madlib is a fucking phenomenal ass producer. I love his shit. You know, anything he touches is like hip hop gold. You know what I mean? And um, it's no different with this album for the most part. <clears throat> uh, Guilty Simpson, his rhyme style is very gangster, very gutter in your face type lyrics, street lyrics. You know, uh, which he which he exemplifies on this album again, just like Ode to the Ghetto, which I love about Guilty Simpson. Please don't change that about you. You know, his voice is very dominant and confident. Um, the one thing that I did not like about this album is the fact that there's one too many interludes on this album. There's too many interludes, and some of them are just so dragged out. That it just like, it's like, oh, come on, Mad Lib. Like, come on, let's go. Let's go, you know. Let me hear some beats and rhymes, you know what I mean? You know, and um, I have no problem with, with intros and interludes. If they have some type of significance to an oncoming song or the next track, you know, like if, like if it's introducing the next track, that's cool, you know. Um, but some of them are just like random, you know, um, and some of them are just dragged out and I'm like, oh, come on, man, you know, and and I, I'm, and I hate shitting on Mad Lib because he is just an ill fucking producer. Some of y'all just don't understand, but um, yeah, um, yeah, features on the album, you got Frank from this group called Frank and Dank, I believe. And you also have Strong Arm Steady from um, Blacksmith Records, Talib Kweli's record label, who also released a dope album this year. I also reviewed called The Search, In Search of uh, Mitchie Slick. No, no, In Search of Stony Jackson. I'm sorry, Mitchie Slick is an uh, is a member of uh, Strong Arm Steady. So, In Search of Stony Jackson, which is a dope album, pick that shit up. Excuse me. But um, yeah, this album, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, it's worth a listen, it's it's a strong album, just those interludes just drive me nuts, um, 
Yeah, Mad Lib comes strong with the production. Guilty Simpson didn't change, still gutter, which I love. Yeah, so 8 out of 10. I also look forward to Random Axe. A X E. Uh, <clears throat> which is Guilty Simpson's latest super group, which consists of Guilty Simpson, Sean Price, who's also ill, they have similar styles, and uh, MC slash producer Black Milk. Hopefully that album comes out this year, because that's going to be a uh, uh, fucking phenomenal underground gutter hip-hop album, and I cannot wait to hear that shit. But yeah... Pick this up, support good music, y'all know how it is, alright, y'all know what it is. Leave your love, leave your hate, most of all subscribe, right bitches? One motherfucking love.